uh, up on the Canadian border up there in Washington where we did this. And, um, and I came out totally new, um, really like a rebirth. So I have been uh, serving it since. It's been um, a year now. I've served a lot of people in groups as well as private sessions. Um, everything from people with uh, what we call chronic <clears throat> ailments to uh, PTSD. I've uh, worked with combat vets who uh, were pretty frazzled. PTSD, depression, anxiety, chronic fatigue, all those kinds of things. Uh, it seems to be very, very effective. And, you know, for the, those of us who wouldn't uh, wear any of those labels, um, it's very, oh God, uh, a system reset is the best ex explanation. On a physical level, it boosts the immune system. It clears the liver, um, the gallbladder, and other organs. Um, on a spiritual level, uh, it will, let's just say it'll put you up against whatever there is there for you to look at and release, maybe surrender to. Um, I'll dig a little more into the science as we get deeper into the call, but the basic is it works through the endocrine system and it is a, a complex cocktail of peptides, a lot of neuropeptides, biopeptides. So it resets the nervous system, the hormones, etc. <laughs> it's been around for ages in the Amazon and was discovered by uh, explorers who then brought it to the rest of the world. And then back about the 90s is when it started getting uh, more popular in the US and in Europe uh, as more people started traveling into the Amazon and bringing back some of the shamanic medicines. John, I'm gonna ask Nikki if she can um, go back to the basics and just talk about what combo um, actually is in regards to the Amazon tree frog, because you actually did a really great job of talking about like how you found it and um, the like mm, more of the, the deeper results, but some people might not even know that it actually has to do with a tree frog. So Nikki, would you? <laughs> Um, chime in here and share about what combo actually is and where it's derived and yeah absolutely so cambo comes from the secretion of the phylomedusa bee color tree frog it's a very specific genus and species there are hundreds of phylomedusa frogs but only the phylomedusa bee color is the one that produces cambo and you know when you look at a frog and it has that little wet look to it that's the secretion that we're going for and it's only the top secretion that's harvested one because it's the strongest and then two because you want to treat that frog with respect and let him go back into the jungle with protection to protect himself although they do have very few predators and you actually feel that too so when you receive cambo you could tell it's just a really happy animal and there are very few predators out there Awesome. So what I'm going to do right now while you guys are continuing to talk is I'm going to show some of the pictures by sharing my screen. I'm going to show some of the pictures of the frogs. So uh, John, do you want to uh, go into some of the science right now? So the basic science is like I mentioned, it's um, biopeptides, neuropeptides, and because basically our saliva is peptides and water, right? So our body loves peptides. The, one of my favorites <laughs> is uh, a neuropeptide called dermorphin. Mm -hmm. And dermorphin is known to be 40 times more potent than uh, morphine for pain relief. So, and the upside is that being that it's a peptide, 
our opioid receptors, our cells open and say, yes, please. And, and they're very receptive to it. So it's very effective against pain relief. That's why people with any kind of chronic pain uh, experience such relief uh, thanks to that peptide. Um, whole other series of peptides, I can get into all the science, but what I find is most people want to know what's it going to do for me. So uh, what I can tell you is it's not psychotropic. It's not like ayahuasca or any of the plant medicine. Mm -hmm. It is a cleanser. Um, the experience, the ceremony is quite quick. Um, the way it's applied is we do a small burn to burn to blister the top layer of skin. So that blister is then wiped off, which exposes the, um, uh, I just lost the word. Help me out, Nikki. <laughs> it exposes the lymphatic system underneath. Right. That, that layer of skin, which I totally lost the word for. Epidermis. <laughs> Yeah. I went blind for a minute. I got your back. Thank you, honey. It exposes the epidermis, and that is how uh, then the points are applied. The secretion is applied. It kind of looks like a little booger, and it's applied to that uh, epidermis. And within a minute and a half, it's in your system. Um, it. The experience for me is a lot like Pac-Man, where it kind of runs through the body, finds what it needs, and then there's a purge. We purge things in four different ways. Um, we purge through the bowels, we purge orally, we purge through sweat, and we purge through emotions. Um, I've had emotional releases in, in ceremony where I didn't even know what it was about, just felt the emotion come up, move through, and clear. Um, so ceremony, as far as, uh, how long the combo is in your system is 20 to 40 minutes. Um, I've had people after a ceremony jump up and say they're ready to run a marathon. Other people mm -hmm. will take a nap. So every ceremony I've done has been different, uh, whether I've been, uh, treating or receiving combo. Every time I do it, it's different. So that's, that's the basics of combo. And it's one of those things that, you know, if it calls to you, I'd invite you to uh, reach out to one of us or, um, or reach out to one of us and we'll refer you. If you're not in our area, we'll refer you to somebody in your area. Find somebody that you trust someone that you feel comfortable with. Um, for me, the practitioner I worked with in the beginning was a solid yes. I looked for other practitioners, um, but they just didn't feel right. So it's really uh, about feeling good with whoever you're gonna be working with. So I have a question mm -hmm. that came in through one of the um, social medias that we posted this, uh, this question and answer uh, call on. They asked, uh, you know, is, is the frog killed in the process of this? Um, Nikki, would you like to um, answer that question? And can you guys see the pictures that I've got going yeah, on? Yeah, we could see them. So, and I would love to answer. Yeah, so, yeah, so right now I'm showing um, the, um, the pictures of, um, some of the, the people who harvest the secretion, the shaman who harvests the secretion. So what can you tell us about that? So the frog is not harmed or injured in any way. The people of the Amazon, especially from where we have our source from, they believe that they live with the animal spirits and the animal spirits must be treated with respect. So what they do is these frogs are most active at nighttime. So out of respect for the frog, at nighttime, the tribe's people will go out, they will actually sing to the frogs. And it's almost like the frogs know that they have something to offer them. Because once they hear these songs, they come crawling down from the trees, uh, where so a lot of times they're just carried over on the leaf or the branch that they crawl down to. 
And this is because if you hold them in your hand, you'll heat the frog up too much. And so that's also why you'll see those frogs are tied usually by each one of their four legs because you can't hold them in your hand. The body temperature will heat them at a temperature that's not safe. And so they'll be tied and they'll be, you know, giving their little feet massages and singing to them. And then they just gently, it's almost like a little back massage for them. They just gently take that top layer of secretion off from the frog. So yeah, they're absolutely not harmed in any way. And do they take all of the secretion? Is it is the frog then left with nothing on its back? No, they only harvest the very, very, very top layer and then the rest of the secretion. So it's left with about 80% of its secretion. So just the top 20 is taken. So it, it, the majority of it is left on the frog. So it sounds like the frog is um, revered and honored versus harmed and maimed. Absolutely. And then you would think through evolution, if the frog didn't like the process, that he would just stop coming down from the trees. Great. Thank you for that. And so why don't you guys talk a little bit about uh, again, I'm going to show this picture. This is uh, a series of pictures of some uh, of people getting their gates. John, do you want to talk a little bit about the gates and um, yeah. why they have to? I mean, you, you guys talked about it going to the epidermis, but um, with the pictures on here, maybe people have questions about, you know, that. Right. So one more, one last thing about the frogs. Um, they are treated with incredible reverence the you saw the way they they tie them to hold them so that they don't get hurt in the process um, that leaves like a white line on their wrists so if a frog comes out of the trees with uh, that with that white line around the wrist with the bracelet basically um, they don't use them again they said they let them go that takes about three months to fade so the frog won't be, the secretion won't be harvested from the same frog for another three months. The other thing to note <clears throat> is that science, there's already 70 patents that drug companies have created based on combo. They've also found that if you take the frog out of its environment, it doesn't produce the same secretion. So it will not reproduce in the lab, which is why the medicine is so sacred. It only comes from the rainforest. So as far as the gates go, <clears throat> um, you can see in this picture that it's a, we use a small stick, we use uh, an incense stick. So it creates a very small uh, point. Um, as I said, we're just burning the top layer, just like a blister. You wipe off that top layer of skin, just like you would with a blister. It exposes the epidermis and then the combo points are put on like you see in in these pictures here um, and where they're placed what you're seeing here is a basic treatment which is usually on the shoulder uh, traditionally for men it's on the shoulder for women it's on the lower part of the leg um, that is usually the first treatment is a basic treatment so that your body uh, gets introduced to combo and uh, and we see how you respond to it. Beyond that, <clears throat> we do chakra treatments. We use the meridians of the body, um, just like you would with acupuncture. So we use the acupuncture meridians to target more specific treatments, depending on what it is um, that you might be going for. If you know, if, like I say, I did. Uh, I went through a um, end of a relationship. I was in a transition period and I did uh, an intense heart chakra, heart chakra treatment. Um, so there's a lot of different ways we can approach it um, depending on what it is you want to work on. So anybody have any questions about that that we might be able to answer? Yeah, I'm going to stop sharing my screen now. Um, let's see. So Jennifer has a question. Uh, she says, I have a, let's see, question. 
I have is the relief from pain of say an an off issue of chronic illness like chronic fatigue syndrome for a few hours or does emotional release or other things that happen in a session possibly lead to a longer term benefit and Jennifer um, you are unmuted darling so if you want to ask more to you know that question go right ahead yeah, I was just saying, like, if somebody has an on-off issue of chronic fatigue or it's or they have an issue with chronic fatigue in that moment, is the pain relief, you know, just like uh, when you take an Advil, it lasts a few hours for a headache, and then, or is there some kind of deeper benefits that are longer lasting for some? That's a great talk. Can I answer that one? Yeah, please. please yeah. yeah. You're the expert on that one. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Maybe, so I, uh, go ahead. Would you share your story? And then answer that question, because okay. you've got a hell of a story. Thank you. Yeah, I would love to. So I'm an expert on chronic pain. I was uh, in a wheelchair from Lyme disease. I had been suffering with Lyme for many years. I was on oral antibiotics for years, uh, and I just thought, I can't do oral antibiotics anymore. This is ripping up my gut. and potentially killing me. So I stopped taking oral antibiotics, switched to a natural protocol, but that just wasn't strong enough for me. And I went downhill real fast. Uh, so I ended up in a wheelchair from pain. I couldn't walk. I couldn't talk. I couldn't see. I was in so much pain. I couldn't even lift my arms to shower myself. I needed five people to help me shower. Yeah, there I am in a wheelchair in front of the emergency room. I used to have daily migraines so bad that my doctor said that they were like brain tumor, like pain. Yeah. Oh God. These are emotional to look at. Um, yeah. So I, that's right before I got a shower. Three medical professionals and two family members would need to shower me because um, I couldn't do it myself. I was just in too much pain. Uh, I was wrapped up in saran wrap to protect the port that I had in my chest for two years uh, where I received IV antibiotics. So uh, I definitely know a thing or two about pain. Um, so all of these, here I'm coming back to life. Uh, so, so all of these treatments helped me get my life back. I d was no longer in a wheelchair. I was able to shower myself, um, but I was still just in crippling pain. And then I found out about a woman who was managing her Lyme's disease with Cambo. And it was this crazy frog medicine that you burned your skin. It made you feel like you were on fire and then you threw up. And I was like, oh, hell no. I don't want anything to do with that. Um, because I had a, pho a great phobia of throwing up. Uh, probably like an unjust fear of throwing up. Uh, but I feel like everyone that comes to me now for Cambo has some sort of major fear around it, uh, which you overcome pretty quickly when you see how good you feel after. So after my first session uh, with Cambo, I felt the best I had felt in 10 years. Um, I received great pain relief. I did three sessions in four days. Um, my migraines that I had every single day for years had disappeared. Um, and I, I got great relief from pain. That pain relief lasted me for about six weeks. Uh, and then I needed to do Cambo again. So Cambo is a tool uh, with someone that has very chronic pain. Tam Cambo is a tool for maintenance. It's not like a one and done silver bullet. So for me, I still do Cambo every six to 12 weeks. And now I find that the results are cumulative. So each time I do Cambo, I get more and more pain relief. I get more and more of my life back and I can start spacing my sessions out further and further apart. So that was such a, a moving story. Um, as a survivor of Lyme disease myself that I didn't do with Combo, um, I don't know how long you were sick, Nikki, but I was sick for over 10 years. Um, yeah, same. Yeah, and um, I also had a porta catheter. I like mm -hmm. to say that my porta catheter scar is me taking a bullet. But, uh, yeah, I say it's like me taking a sword. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's my war wounds <laughs> of life. Um, and I have to say that um, 
you know, when I found Combo, um, I had already been healed from Lyme disease for, I think it was over 10 years. Um, but as you can see, I'm all emotional about it. Um, it was definitely um, a relief to find that there's something out there that can help me maintain my well being without all the um, intense uh, modalities that I had to accumulate in order to get the same result that I got from one session of combo. Mm -hmm. um, uh, so the, uh, I'm so grateful to find combo and every time, you know, John, John is in the area. I'm like, can we do a combo ceremony? <laughs> you learn to love it. I, yeah, it's, it, it's, it, it scared me after, you know, the first and second one, like, um, to go into it because, you know, the, the purging is pretty intense, but because I understand the modalities of healing that are required for all of us, all, it doesn't matter who you are, that, you know, what ailment you have, you might just, you know, wake up from, you know, uh, your night's sleep and have sore joints, but there's a reason why your human organism has sore joints where that's not homeostasis. That's not optimal health. And the doctors I work with, we're all looking for how to have homeostasis in that our human growth hormone in our body is functioning properly instead of, you know, going downhill. The human organism isn't supposed to be going downhill. Aging is actually seen as an illness now. Um, and uh, if we can upregulate our human growth hormone, with something natural like combo, um, then we don't have to buy these thousand um, dollar, you know, peptide treatments that we have to inject with a needle. Um, and most people don't want to do that either. Um, but my experience with combo is, hell yes, I'm going to try something that keeps me from having any possibility of Lyme disease coming back. Because as you know, Lyme disease is something that they can't confirm that you're ever rid of because you'll, you're supposedly always supposed to have the um, antibodies in your, in your system. So once you've been positive for uh, Lyme disease antibodies, um, you, you know, there's no way to confirm that you don't have the disease any longer. Mm -hmm. um, so as we were talking about before the call started, um, for me, Lyme disease was like a, um, it was, it was like a cancer diagnosis, but I had to live and there was not, I didn't want to live. I was, I literally at that point in my life was like, how can I get off this planet? Because this yep. is so uncomfortable to be sentenced with mm -hmm. chronic pain that I'm not going to die from, you know, cause a, a lot of people kind of at, at, after a certain point are like, I just, I just don't know if I can wake up another day being fatigued and in pain every day. So what I'm getting to is that um, I love that I have combo now to maintain and detox because what I found was that I was super toxic. I was so toxic that um, just perfume when I went into like a department store would make me sick. And, um, and I think that a lot of us are numbed out by the toxins that we have um, collected because our environment, our food, our lifestyles are so toxic. Now I was only 26 when I came down with um, Lyme disease. I'm now 49. And I have no symptoms at all, but uh, I take advantage of um, having a combo session as often as possible because I don't want to go back there. So do you want to say anything more about that and what I was sharing? Yeah, actually, could you share your screen again and share one of the pictures from when I was in a hospital bed? Yep, absolutely. Because one of the things that you said really rang true. And um, yeah. 
having a Lyme disease diagnosis at first I was happy because I finally had a name to whatever had been plaguing me for my entire life. Yeah. But then once I started treating it, there you go, go back one. Or once, once you start treating Lyme's disease, your prayers go from dear God, help me get better. That face right there, that's saying, dear God, make it stop make it stop just let me die if i can't get over this just let me die and the number one cause of death from lyme's patients is actually suicide and you could see it in that face right there i was freaking close yeah um so thank god i found cambo and just the peptides dermorphin to help relieve pain dermaseptin one of nature's strongest antimicrobials and just how strong of a detoxifier that is. Uh, so I feel like most chronic illness is caused, now having overcome it myself, I feel that most chronic illness is caused by microorganism infections, whether that's Lyme disease or co-infection or Epstein-Barr, I can name 30 of them. So, and toxins and structural misalignment and emotional issues. But, you know, Cambo does a great job at working on microorganism infections and it does a great job at detoxifying so this is a really powerful tool for people that not just with Lyme disease but with chronic illness um, and it's, it's definitely giving me my life back you can see I have no makeup on and I've got this shiny glowy skin mm -hmm. and that's a hundred percent combo we call it the cam glow see look at that <laughs> look at the light hitting that <laughs> and so it's nice to glow again it's nice yeah. to glow again yeah, absolutely. Uh, I have to say that um, uh, when I had Lyme disease, it was uh, definitely uh, clear to me that it attacks your psyche. And I think it does that, Lyme disease does that because, you know, it attacks the nervous system and the brain and you go into this fog. Um, one of the things that I got out of my first combo session is I came out the next day and I was like, oh my God, I have, I didn't even know like over 12 years after I yeah. healed from Lyme disease that I was still holding, um, a level of pain that I managed with like, sometimes I would manage it with cannabis. Sometimes I managed it with CBD. Sometimes I managed it with, um, Kratom because if it got too bad, it took me, it tanked me into like, oh shit, it's happening again. And I would have to have support from my loved ones to just hold me in that space of I'm going to be okay as long as I get through the pain. And, and I, I've got a whole bunch of healers that I work with in case I have it come back. But with combo, I, I was like, John will tell you, I was like Wonder Woman. I was like, look at the muscles, <laughs> holy cow, like the glow. It makes your skin um, look really youthful because there's peptides that really are uh, specific to healing skin. Um, but the detox, that's the thing that most of us don't realize is what's keeping us sick, um, is that there's so many toxins that we all have. And we're not just talking like chemical toxins in the body. Mm -hmm. I'm talking thoughts, thought, toxic thoughts, emotional thoughts and emotional toxins. John, can you talk a little bit more about that? So you hit on a bunch of things. Um, I used to do a cleanse once a year. I do some sort of cleanse. I've done all of them. Fine. I've, I've led people through cleanses uh, and I've always told people plan on six weeks. You're not going to do, you know, a three day juice fast and, and, and get everything out more into lifestyle changes. Combo on the other hand is the fastest clearing um, I've ever experienced. It's a very quick detox. It's a very quick cleanse. Uh, parasites are another thing that I found a lot of people are dealing with and most people have parasites and don't know it um, that's something that combo is very effective with as well the um, the other thing I want to touch on is that we have we're, we're working with a lot of people who are recovering from major illnesses recovering from chemo treatments where all that residual 
chemical, the residual chemical toxins that are left in the body after, you know, after your body's been poisoned for week after week after week. Um, combo, we're using combo to help people purge that and get their lives back as well. Because the long-term effects of, of any kind of pharmaceutical treatment, that stuff sticks. I've got clients who have been on antidepressants for decades who have taken a year to feel again. I literally had a client say, you know, after a year of helping her wean off of, of the antidepressants and anti-anxiety drugs, <clears throat> after a year, she said, I'm finally starting to feel again. She was just a zombie when we first met. And with Combo, I'm seeing that same thing happen in a matter of a handful of treatments. Um, so there's a lot of different ways of working with it. There's the one-off treatment, which, you know, which is where you start. And then um, they say three sessions in a moon cycle is a good series. And if you're dealing with something chronic, do what Nikki did and three days in a row to really go deep because each time you do it, your body is more receptive and um, you're more in a place of allowing. And I think you've experienced that Sequoia in that, you know, the resistance is gone. Now you welcome it in, you move through the process. Um, and you uh, you develop a relationship with the frog, right? So it's it's one of uh, one of the modalities that I use with clients, and I have to say one of the quickest, most effective cut to the chase no bullshit. <laughs> there is no, you know, resistance is futile. <laughs> you know, you're going to, you're going to move through and you're going to get over whatever it is you came to deal with um, quite quickly. So, so the, benefit, the list of health benefits goes on and on and on. And, you know, we can do another call and we can get deeper into the science. We can get deeper into uh, treatment techniques. I woke up this morning feeling a bit off. My sinuses have been a little weird. I microdosed, um, and I've done this before where going into, you know, everybody's getting the flu. Um, I microdose for a few days and just boost my immune system. Okay. So, so, uh, Nikki, what do your medical professionals who you have been working with in regards to healing you from Lyme disease, what do they think about all this shamanic frog medicine that you're doing for combo? Oh, such a great question. So I work with one of the top infectious disease specialists in the world, uh, Dr. Jemsek and Rachel Markey at Gemsec Specialty Clinic in Washington, DC. This clinic is so well known for healing people from Lyme's disease that there are different documentaries, plural, about them. There are books written about them. Uh, they, they are the people you go to. It is not uncommon to be in their waiting room and someone from Holland is there, someone from England is there, someone from Michigan is there. People are there from all over the world. So. When I went for my last appointment there, uh, I had been on medicines for years. Uh, when they saw me, they took me off every single one of my pharmaceuticals, shook my hand, and sent their researcher in to speak with me. That researcher proceeded to shake my hand twice and said he could not believe what he was seeing. I went to that first appointment in a wheelchair, and you know, here I am, medicine-free, and uh, so now they're, they're actually looking into it themselves. That's extraordinary. Um, considering I had to leave my doctor's office with them saying, we can't tell you if you're ever going to be healed. The fact mm -hmm. that your doctors are like, this is an amazing recovery from where you can. Yeah. Uh, extraordinary, really extraordinary. Uh, all right. Well, um, do anybody on the call, Jennifer or Cindy, do you guys have any other questions that you'd like to ask these two practitioners? They're very experienced 
IAKP combo practitioners go through a very intense and very integral um, based training. So these are some of the best practitioners uh, that I've ever talked to and met. And I have had the experience of working with John on six different ceremonies. And I can tell you honestly that he holds an amazing space for combo. Uh, Jennifer, I saw you maybe unmute yourself. Did you have any other questions? Yes. Uh is there is this session um, an individual session or is it a group session and how long does it does it usually last like these kind of ritual things great question so either way we do private sessions as well as doing group sessions um, it, it's a matter of preference um, and if you're doing a group ceremony the length of the ceremony is going to depend on how many people are in the group um, because we stagger people. We don't start everyone at the same time. Um, if you're doing a private session, it's, it's all you. I, I always tell people to plan on two to three hours and, you know, don't plan on rushing off to an appointment afterwards. Give yourself time. Um, we do it on an empty stomach. You have to fast for 10 hours prior so usually we do ceremony in the morning because it's easy. You just, you know, don't eat past midnight and don't eat in the morning when you wake up. At 10 a.m., we're in ceremony. Um, and then after ceremony, you can eat. So does that answer your question as far as time to a lot? Yes, that's, that's great. And also, um, is, it, is it this uh, considered a drug and is it legal in California and New York? It's legal all over the world. Um, the only, <clears throat> the only uh, place in Brazil, I believe it is, you can't advertise it. It's legal, but it can't be advertised. Um, so yes, it is legal. It's not considered a drug. Again, it's not psychotropic. Um, it's peptides. Nikki, did you have anything to say about that or? Um yeah, I do. So I do a lot of private sessions. Uh, I also do groups, but for a private, you do want a lot, like you said, two to three hours. But then I say, just try and take the rest of the day or the night to yourself, uh, especially like we were talking about that detox. So your, your cell receptors actually open up for cambo because the substance is so natural and it goes in and it detoxes every, almost all of your cells at once. So it's almost like each one of your cells have just gotten surgery. So it's just really important to be super, like, like mother yourself, take care of yourself on that day, eat a lot of nutrients, get a lot of rest, and just take that day to recover and just take care of yourself. Yeah, I'm also going to, I'm going to answer this question also, Jennifer, real quick. So something that I have found um, similar to what, um, what Nikki and John just said, this is an opportunity for your cells to purge, to dump. And um, when I was doing my own um, chelation and research on uh, detoxing my body because I was so chemically toxic that, um, like I shared, like I couldn't even uh, use regular perfume. Um, so in a, in a um, Western medicine kind of detox, chelation is painful. It is not comfortable to detox because it feels like you're ripping um, things out of your cells. Combo doesn't feel that way. It it, it purges and detoxes from the cells, almost like the cells go, thank God I can release this yeah. finally, right? And then once you have released that, there's still a, uh, a gentle healing of the cells where the cells then want to contract and they want to go into a little bit of a hibernation. And what I find is after my combo treatments, I want to take a nap. And then I want to be super clean with what I eat and what I do because I am now in recovery from that el elimination of the toxins. 
the emotional toxins and everything else, right? The physical toxins and the chemical toxins. So I find it's really an integration period that I need to allow. I need to do nothing, kind of like a really intense Shavasana where my entire system gets to just reboot with any, without anything coming in, whether it's like toxic food or you know intense things I have to digest or chemicals and nothing thought wise either. So I'll pretty much take a bath. I'll um, sleep in front of my fireplace. Um, you know, John will make me maybe like a green smoothie that feels super clean. And um, in that way, the ceremony is only like two to three hours, but the recovery time that I give myself as a gift can be the next six hours to really allow myself to be gentle. Yeah, it's, it's working your system for uh, about 24 hours. You know, the, the ceremony is brief, but it's still running through your system for about 24 hours. Jennifer, it sounded like you might have another question. Uh, no, it's just, uh, that, that's what I was going to ask about the food afterwards, and you had answered that. So that's great. Yeah. Yeah. Did you, yeah. yeah, you know, I am a carnivore. <laughs> I eat lots of protein, <laughs> and I found that my system needs that, and I'm a very active, um, very active 49 year old. Um, but after combo, I find that for definitely a couple of weeks, like up to over a month afterwards, I have no interest in adding anything into my system that feels icky. As a matter of fact, uh, this is one of the reasons why I think it's actually really good for addiction, um, which John, you didn't mention anything about addiction. Maybe we can talk about that on next week's call about combo. But, um, but I found that I have no need to fill my life with anything that's toxic because I feel so good. I literally feel like Wonder Woman. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, do either of you want to wrap anything up with a comment? Um, it is getting close to an hour that this, we've been on this call and you guys have been both so fantastic in answering everybody's questions. Go ahead, John. <laughs> I just say, reach out. If you have more questions, reach out. Um, you can, uh, we're both pretty easy to find. Um, my website is spiritwalkjourney.com. So West Coast, I up in Washington, Oregon, all through California, and I do travel as well. Uh, Nikki's on the East Coast. We're soon to be doing uh, sessions out of a doctor's office uh, in D.C., I think. <laughs> <laughs> I hope so. I hope so. <laughs> and, uh, John, you're going to be doing combo ceremony uh, next week, uh, Saturday, uh, Saturday, January 25th through the 28th in Santa Cruz. If anybody wants to set up a session during his time in Santa Cruz, please come join us. And Nikki, do you have any ceremonies scheduled right now that you want to let people know about on in Pennsylvania? I don't have any group ceremonies scheduled. I do have two places that I am holding private ceremonies from right now. One is about an hour and a half outside New York City in Stroudsburg. I'm working out of uh, integrated healthcare specialists there at the chiropractor's office and uh, Soul Shine in Mountaintop, Pennsylvania, which is right outside the Poconos. Um, so if you need to find me, I'm actually very easy to find. Uh, my website is NikkiOcambo.com, and you can find me on Facebook or Instagram, Nikki O'Malley or Nikki Ocambo. So if you'd like to reach out and you're on the East Coast, I would love to meet you. Awesome. Thank you guys so much. We really appreciate all of the, the answering of the questions, but also thank you both for going through the intense training <laughs> so that you can be practitioners that we all can trust. Um, the more we have people who are willing to provide this ceremony and this healing modality, the better off we're all going to be. I'm so grateful for both of you. 
and best of luck to everybody. Please reach out to these combo practitioners. Thank you both. Bye. Thank you. Thanks for having me. You're welcome. We're putting this together. You're welcome.